Hi, I'm Officer Chris. So, video na ito, we will be discussing ETA calculation with time zone correction used on vessels or ships. As the formula shown on the screen, to calculate distance, you have to multiply speed by time. To calculate for speed, you have to divide distance by time. To calculate for time, you have to divide distance by speed. Example number one. ETA calculation without time zone difference and without crossing the IDL. So example natin so port of origin is Singapore. Let's say the bunkering operation. Then our time zone is negative 8. Port of destination is Manila. Time zone also negative 8. Please don't be confused on the negative symbol sa ating time zone. It only means that the country is in the Eastern Hemisphere. If the country is in the Western Hemisphere, you will be having a positive symbol. Estimated distance from Singapore to Manila is 1320 nautical miles. Pero this is only estimated lang talaga dahil hindi naman po ganyan talaga ang route na papunta ng Manila. Usually, you have to come here in Singapore. Then, you will have to move a little bit further north sa tinuturo ng ating cursor. Dahil maraming oil fields dito, then you can proceed there. Speed is 30 knots. As for the speed, you have to ask your captain on what speed to be used for your ETA calculation. Which magre-reflect sa mga reports ninyo. For example, the charter wants to know the ETA at 12.5 knots or at 40 knots. It will depend on the captain. So, not. It means nautical mile per hour. Meaning, ilan ba yung tinatakbo yung milya nautical mile sa loob ng isang oras? Our ETD from Singapore is 12 September 2021 at 0800 local time. As given, time is equal to distance over speed. So, time is equals to 1320 nautical mile divided by 13 knots. Ye expand natin ngayon to. Nautical mile per hour. Yun yung representation natin sa 13 knots para madali pa nating maintindihan dahil as we are all familiar, we have to cancel out both nautical miles. And ang matitira is yung unit ng hour. So the result will be in hours, correct? Our time is 101.53. 3.8 hours. We have to divide this by 24. Dahil 24 hours per day. The purpose of this, para malaman natin kung ilang araw sa loob ng 101.538 hours. Cancel out, then day. So, sa loob ng 101.538 hours, we have 4.23075 days. Set aside nung 4. The whole number, set aside. So, ang natitira na lang, or the increment, yung sobra, is 0 0.23075 days. Now, we have to Convert it again to hours. Paano magagawin yon? Simply multiply it again sa 24 hours. Babalik siya sa hour. 
then you have 5.538 hours now you have to get your whole number again which is 5 hours the increment or yung sobra is 0 0.538 hours at iko convert naman natin ito sa minutes how do we do that alam natin na uh, sa loob ng isang oras meron tayong 60 minutes so we have to multiply it by 60 minutes there you go meron tayong 32.28 minutes pero dito mag round off na tayo we will only be getting 32 minutes so all in all yung steaming time natin is 4 days 5 hours and 32 minutes to calculate mag start tayo sa ETD from Singapore or estimated time of departure sa Singapore which was 12 of September 2021, 0800 hours, local time. Then, i-add natin ngayon yung steaming time natin, which is 4 days, 5 hours, and 32 minutes. So, we're, so our ETA to Manila is 16 September of 2021 at 13.32 local time. Wala na po tayong ibang adjustments dito dahil hindi po tayo nagbago ng time zone, hindi rin tayo nag-cross ng IDL. Example number 2. ETA calculation with time zone difference and without crossing the IDL. So, for the next example, magkaiba tayo naman ng time zones ng port of destination and port of origin. Port of origin is Kobe, Japan. Time zone is negative 9. Port of destination is Manila. Time zone is negative 8. Our estimated distance from Kobe, Japan going to Manila is 1947 nautical miles. As you can see on the picture, Japan is on eastern more uh, more eastern part compared to the philippines speed to be used 13 knots our etd kobe is 12 september 2021 0800 local time or local time ng japan is japan standard time or jst now we will proceed with the calculation of the total steaming time as explained on the first example. Time is equal to distance over speed, 1947 nautical miles over 13 knots. Then we will have to cancel that out. Titira uh, is hours na lang, 149.769, so on. Now we will just going to speed this up. Dahil alam nyo na kung paano i-calculate ito. Total steaming time from Kobe, Japan to Manila is 6 days, 5 hours, and 46 minutes. You already know the next part. ETD Kobe, 12 September 2021, 0800 local time, plus our total steaming time, which is 6 days, 5 hours, and 46 minutes. Now, we will call this uncorrected ETA dahil hindi pa natin na apply yung time zone correction. The zone difference or the time zone in Japan is negative 9. For the Philippines, it's negative 8. Since nasa eastern part nga, mas eastern part, Ang Japan compared to Philippines, meaning ang oras sa Japan is more advanced than Philippines. Hindi naman ito nangangahulugan na lahat ng nasa more, uh, more eastern part from Philippines ay magkaiba na ng ating 
time zone. Magdidepende ito sa official time zone na gamit ng isang bansa which will be explained on another video. Uh, on that video, we will be discussing specifically the time zones, the international date line, and the daylight saving time. Time zone correction since Japan is one hour advance from Philippines, you will have to deduct one hour. You will get the corrected ETA Manila 18 September 2021, 12.46 local time. Proceeding to the next example, which is ETA calculation with time zone difference and crossing the IDL. Port of origin still Kobe, Japan. Time zone is negative 9. Port F destination is Kalao, Peru or Kalyao. Time zone is positive 5 because Kalyao, Peru is already on the Western Hemisphere. So we will be crossing the Pacific Ocean. From Japan, we will cross the IDL and going to Callao, Peru. This is Hawaii. Okay, estimated distance from Kobe to Callao using a great circle sailing is 8733 nautical miles. Speed 30 knots. ETD Kobe is 12 September 2021 at 0800 local time or again Japan Standard Time JST. So as always we have to proceed to the calculation of total steaming time as explained in the first example. Let's say we already have done that. All right. So ETD Kobe is 12 September 2021, 0800 local time. Here, we will check first the zone difference or the time zone of the port of destination, which is negative 9 for Japan. And we will convert it to Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time Coordinated. Or, siguro mas familiar kayo sa GMT or UTC. How do we do that? Since Japan is on Eastern Hemisphere, the time there is always advanced compared to Greenwich time. So to convert that to GMT, you have to, sub to subtract it to the local time. Just like this one. ETD Kobe is 11 September 2021, 2300 UTC or GMT. Then, you will add now your steaming time, which was, sorry, which is 27 days, 23 hours and 46 minutes. ETA to Kalyao is 9 October 2021, 2246 UTC or GMT. So, this is uncorrected ETA dahil we are still on UTC or GMT. You will need to convert this to local time. To do this, you should know the time zone of your destination. For Peru, they are using uh, plus 5 dahil they are on the Western Hemisphere. Now, it is shown here that it is also minus 5 hours. Why? As you can see here, 0, we are on the South Atlantic Ocean, right? This is where the GMT or UTC or the zero longitude is located at. Ngayon, ito yung basis mo. So you are on the eastern side of your destination. 
So, ang oras mo dito is advance pa rin kumpara dun sa pupuntahan mo. Do you understand? So, yung oras natin sa GMT ay 5 hours advance pa rin compared sa Peru. That's why we are using subtraction. ETA Kalyao is 9 October 2021, 17.46 local time. Now, yan na yung answer. Oh, so, frequently asked questions, don't you need to add one more day or, subtra or subtract one more day because you are crossing the IDL. If you are using this procedure, which you are converting your local time to GMT, you won't need to do that anymore. Dahil ang reference mo na is GMT time. Otherwise, if you are calculating using local time, that's the time na uh, mag a advance ka or mag retard ka ng one day doon sa ETA calculation. Now, doon sa part na yon, as explained on the previous part of the uh, of this video we will be discussing uh, the IDL and the time zones and the zone names of each continent each country na mag explain lahat noon so thank you very much thanks for watching See you on the next one.